Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition. I'm super excited for this unboxing today. Um, so right now it's coming up to Eschenspiel and that means that my friends at Emperor S4 are putting out their new releases for the year and I wait all year for these. Um, for those of you who don't know me very well, I am a really big Emperor S4 fan, you can see their little logo here, and they have some really interesting and fascinating games, and they come in small boxes and medium boxes and big boxes, and this is their medium box um, release. As you can see, it's got the number five on the corner. There have been four other ones that you may or may not have heard of, such as Planet Defenders, Sorcerer in Stone, um, Realm of Sand um, and now this um, and I've reviewed a number of their titles and they're always something um, super exciting so I am out of my skin with delight um, to get my hands on this and dying to see what it's all about look at this so what I'm what I'm unboxing today in case you haven't read it already and I hope I pronounced this vaguely right so is Jiguan the Eastern Mechanist okay so I, I'm hoping I'm not butchering someone else's language. Um, this is designed by Eros Lin and published by Emperor S4 Games. And ooh, look at this cover. It's a really beautiful reddy brown. Um, this looks really, really cool. So obviously the machinist, you, you make, you're gonna make things. Um, it's this beautiful city. And like all of their boxes, it's got this white border. Um, so when you line them up on your shelf, um, they look very attractive. Um, so we'll flip over to the side. You can see what the side of the box is like. Yeah, like so. So here we go. Um, I don't know if this side doesn't have the number. It must be on the other side. So it's for two to four players. It's supposed to take 45 to 90 minutes, ages 14 plus. Um, I will check the other side. Yeah, there you go. So normally the one I've got on my shelf because then they all they match up nice. They're very, very pretty. So let's see what's on the back. The box itself is good standard cardboard. It's quite, um, it's quite um, touchy-feely. I quite like it. So first things first, I love that they do this. <laughs> so can you see this? So it's got a little box to tell you a bit, a bit about the game. So this game is four out of five for strategy, two out of five for luck. Well, that's good, I'm not a big fan of random games. Um, interaction, four out of five, interesting. And it's a four out of five weight. So they consider this to be a relatively heavy game. Um, so wow, look at all the cool stuff. So there's a gear supply board, there are gears. So we're obviously assemb assembling things, they're assembly mats. Um, it's very, very busy down here, but that's I think it's because there's multiple languages, so it's going to be like this. Um, so this is a preview copy because it says actual components may vary, um, which is fair because it's only being released, you know, in a couple of weeks. Um, so, you know, I'm I'm happy to trade it all. I like the, I like the pink. <laughs> um, and so let's see what we can learn about it from inside. So, so Jiguan is a form of ancient Chinese science and mechanical engineering. Okay, so your goal is to advance your plans in the five pagodas by creating unique mechanical beasts. Oh, what an awesome theme. All right, enough chatting. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Right. I normally go this way, don't I? Left to right. So first off, we've got the rule book. Now, Emperor S. Forest has not had the best tradition in rule books, although they've definitely got better over the years. Um, so inside, let's have a look. I think that's usually lost in translation though too. So these are a Taiwanese company, so it lists everything. Um, the game elements, okay, um, reward cards. It's made of quite thin stuff, it's like a magazine nearly. Um, an airship marker, please tell me we're building airships. Um, I really like the little components, all have like the little um, spanners. And then it's a picture of flying machines, some symbols, okay, so what you do, permanent effect. Here we go, the goal of the game. I like that it tells you that right at the start. I always think that's good. So there's the game setup. So they've broken things off. There's little notes and they've put everything in points. That's really helpful. There's a beginner mode. The reading looks like this is quite um, taxing. Look at this. So it's a lot of rows of stuff. It seems to be, you know, choosing from a, a tableau. Gameplay. Yeah. The different type of actions you can do. Oh, look at the beast down the bottom. Mechanical beast. Quite a bit to the rule book, actually. It's quite big. So action B is the other things you can do. Sometimes you'll find out that the most basic games can take a bit of effort to explain. So the rule books are a little longer than, not quite necessary, but you know, than the game necessarily needed. So reward card abilities, listing all of those. The mission cards, telling you everything about those. The workshop abilities, extra bonuses. Cool, and what's on the back? Um, some more instructions, some more of the cards. A little note from the designer. Oh, that's really cute. And then a little bit of the back. So there's no real kind of review on the back, but I have seen all of these tokens. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try turning them around the right way so you can look at them with me. 
colors. Look at the gears. Sorry, those are stunning. And look at the little animals. Oh, wow. Obviously, there's the little airship we're going to build. There's like a mechanical monkey, mechanical horse. It looks like, I want to say a bear. I want to say a bear. And that looks like a crane with a hat. Um, someone will probably correct me. These are awesome. So let's see what type of tokens we have here. Um, we'll, I'm going to pop out one of the Oh my god, the back's even prettier. Wow. So the back of the cogs are really boring, but the back of the animals are all coloured. So this crane wants to pop out. What do we got? Really tough cardboard and rounded on the corners. So, like, look at them. That is just glorious, peoples. And there's more. Cool. So this one looks to be the same as the first. It's got it's a couple of different animals, maybe. Or it looks very similar, right? God, they're beautiful cogs. I really like them. And you got, like, your little tokens in the middle. Yeah, the back. That is just something else, lads. Look at the crane. Ah, so badass. Okay, and we've a third one. So we've had slightly different... No, the cogs are the same numbers, and the ships are the same numbers. Interesting. So it must be there's obviously multitudes of these. Are they? Oh, they're different points cost um, on each sheet. So like the crane here is worth eight, seven, seven, eight, and the other one six, six, and seven. So, all right. So different value of beasts, and we're still going. There's a lot of popping. Just like the last bit of popping. So this one has some of these kind of bony sea tiles. Another ship. Must all get ships. Um, some more animals, really high number ones, and then we have 50s in the tokens, and by threes, so it's getting very advanced. Look at that. Oh, fab. Right, so what's next? We have some bits of cards. What are these telling us? Things about cranes and cogs, or animals and cogs, and the... Oh, look, they, they click together. So this is obviously for the, the top of the board, somehow. Nice, and yeah, you must fit the tokens on them, one for each type. So maybe my guess right now is that the first person to get one will get the highest points, and then as you take them off, you'll get less points. That's my guessing. Don't know. Um, space of cogs, and then you have the other side as well, which looks almost the same. Okay, cool. Um, cardboard is quite thin, but um, you know, kind of sturdy stuff. Thin but sturdy. All right. Speaking of thin cardboard, this is also quite thin. With a wobble. <laughs> so these are obviously the pagodas you're trying to raise your influence in, I think, isn't it? Something that you're trying to go up in. They've got them all. And oh, look, there are different temples for each type of animal. Okay, I'm with you. And obviously the scoreboard, like the colouring. Oh, and the back is just a, a nice picture. Woo! All right, what's next? A little square. This I don't fully understand. So I wonder how this one works. Maybe it's to do with all those points, all those little token things. So obviously something's going to go around and around. There's an airship here in the middle. So maybe your airships go around. It's kind of interesting. And it does indeed have two sides. Well done. Um, so these are, these have numbers and stuff on them. These don't. So my guess is that this is the beginner side. But um, I like that that's included. Not everyone wants to play everything going home right away. Um, I like that very much. Okay, so we'll do the tiny cards. Ah, because they don't have the special thing on them, so I need my scissors, which I kept in my pocket for such a situation as this. Yeah, no tab for you. Whoop. We can do this. You can do it if you really want, but you must try. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so. Ooh. Okay, these are quite slippy. Like, super slippy. Oh, the back of them is weird. Let's have a look. So that's the back of them. I expected them to have kind of more cutesy art, you know, like the box front does, because we haven't, you know, the animals and stuff are adorable. I guess these are functional cards. So what are these kind of things? Whoop. So these obviously are like your little inventions. So this like move something on this, perhaps. I'm going to be terrible at guessing. So trade them five of those for two of something. And that obviously happens right away because <laughs> it's got a lightning symbol. Um, cool. So this is interesting. Okay, those cards are slightly differently bordered than some of the others. It's like if you get them all, you hand them in and you go up in the blue, maybe? So it just seemed like a little bit kind of set collection stuff, more animals. This one I'll have to figure out as I play. I'm already intrigued, though. Should be fun. Cool. Okay, so that's all the little cards that they do. We have some roundy wooden tokens in some hideous colours. <laughs> Like, considering all the, oops, the beauty on the box art and on the animals and things, this bit seems a little bit of a letdown. Let's see now. 
assuming they are, I don't think they are, maybe they are player colours. They're, um, they're nice little wooden desks, you know, fairly standard stuff. Okay, what's next? Uh, the difficulties of getting tidy things back in a small space. All right, now we've got some boards. What kind of boards we got? So these must be player boards where you mark off the things you've done or these are your things you can do in your turn perhaps. Yeah, action one and action two. I don't know what this is about. Looks very technical. They do have two sides. Are they different? So this one's green and oh, they're all green there. So yes, they are different. So there's a couple of uh, multiple ways to play this, which is good. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Did I say five players? I said four players. So I wonder why there's a fifth one. Curious. Maybe you're playing against the compu computer? <laughs> playing against the game? I don't know. They're a much nicer card now than the earlier stuff. It's a good bit thicker and it's quite waxy. And now I'm really confused because I'm like, where? <laughs> what's this got to do with anything? I thought I had it all figured out. So there are four of these. So maybe these are for us. Us players and you, you, okay I've given up on trying to understand obviously it's something to do with cogs and points and animals watch on the back and the back is different the back is completely blank so that's cool multiple ways to do it. this is also a nice cardboard this is nice and hard like this and you get back to the bottom and you get this beautiful picture so yeah what do you guys think about this I'm color me intrigued I thought I had a handle on what was happening apparently I don't or maybe I have a handle on one thing but not the other thing um, super, super cool. So, oh my god, there's so much popping to be done. Look at this. Yep, yep. that was the easiest way to do that. And we won't leave the crane behind. So, yeah, so what do you guys think? Are you as intrigued as I am? Maybe you're not as excited as me. I'm, it's okay, I'm fangirling a little bit. Um, but I'm very excited to play this and see what it is all about. So you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and I've just unboxed Jiguan, oh god, I hate mispronouncing things, hopefully I'm not, the Eastern Mechanist from Emperor S4 Games. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, why not think about liking or subscribing to the channel so you'll know when I put out other videos. And until next time, um, I'll hopefully be unboxing something else just as exciting. Take care everybody, bye bye.